Hey everybody, my name is Josh the RV Nerd. Welcome to Halet RV. 3,190 pounds Geo Pro 19BH here at Halet's. This is, uh, I, if you're looking for a small but really high class little bunkhouse, this one certainly fits the bill. Cargo bunk room to really pack them up heavy. And if you want to get off grid, you got a factory 190 watt solar panel plus a 1000 watt inverter. You can even expand the solar a little bit if you are really looking to stay off grid a longer time. 12 volt fridge, double Asdell walls, 12 volt TV with integrated DVD player, even uh, the Wi Fi Ranger if you want to get, uh, you know, like a little extra Wi Fi action and signal extension going on your campsite. This thing is like, it's a spaceship of a small camper. This is a good example of taking 10 pounds of sugar and shoving it all into a five pound sack. I'm also gonna call this one the Magic Man because the way Geo Pros are lately, now you see it, now you don't. Rockwood. Now one of the cool things in here is that this has a really extremely exaggerated vault on the roof. But what's nice about that is even at my height about 6'3", I can clearly walk directly under even things like those air conditioner knobs. So it's it's something that the barreled ceiling really helps open it up and it makes sure that I'm not constantly scraping my balding head over here because without hair, folks, that stuff really starts digging into your scalp, you know what I mean? Now using that main entry door is kind of a reference point. You see that full viewing window right there. Plus you have that front windshield, dinette side, and head, uh, like bed head side windows. Bed head? <laughs> anyway. Um, so you've always got some pretty good visibility on this, which is uh, a hard thing to do sometimes in little campers. Well, in any camper, really, it just depends. But over here, the entertainment on this, uh, GeoPro has really uh, set the standard for high-class little campers with their entertainment package. So up top here, we've got the Wi-Fi Ranger, uh, which basically means a built-in router. You've got your Bluetooth uh, stereo system there with HDMI input. But this television down here has its own integrated DVD unit, not to mention the fact that it is also 12-volt uh, powered. So that means if you do want to be off-grid somewhere and you do get some good reception or you want to bring a couple of the old DVD discs with you, well, you can keep yourself entertained on a uh, rainy day if you're going to be stuck inside here. I love the light color palette. What do you guys think of the look of this? GeoPros used to have like almost a stark white interior. It made them look very, uh, I think, very sharp, very big and open despite their smaller size. And this is very similar. It's actually not identical to the Newport Ash and the rest of the Rockwoods, but man, you have to really have them side by side to know it. I like it. I like how it adds a little bit of warmth while still being a little lighter, brighter, a little more open. We're going to get all the storage open for you here in just a minute. Uh, but up here on the headboard, you see that you've got that pop-up power tower. So if you need a space to set down, uh, what do I want to say, like your phones, and it's deep enough you could put a CPAP machine right up by your head. Now, if you wanted to relocate that power tower and remove that headboard, you could actually get an 80-inch long bed in here, which is a hard thing to do in a lot of little campers. Uh, let's see. I, actually, I think we're going to start with our storage down here. We're going to have to jump around because there's they, they really added like drawers and doors everywhere in here. So first of all, below the bed, double big dresser drawer space. And I'm trying to remember. I'm operating from memory here, and I've slept a few times since the last time I recorded one of these. But didn't this used to have only a single drawer? Did they redesign this and double the storage down there? And look at the old plywood box construction. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry. That's good examples, like I always say, of Rockwood doing Rockwood things. Now, if we spin around over there above the dinette, you see you've got full overhead cabinet. I like that shaker style look, those hidden hinges looking nice and clean. You've got that blackout roller shade there. And then down below here, this dinette can obviously fold down into an extra sleeper space with a couple bonus drawers below that. Every little place they could, they did storage. Now, notice how we are ventless and carpetless flooring. And take a real close note of that dining table over there. It actually has a single post and then it brackets against the wall. And that what that really lets it do is uh, operate like a, a very stable, no knee knocker dinette where it uh, you know, isn't inclined to wiggle jiggle around and you're not gonna be inclined to smash it with your, your, your long legs like mine all the time. And similarly, I'll get you a look at the kitchen all opened up in just a second. I wanted to hit on a couple key features like that 12 volt separated fridge and freezer. I think that is a nice improvement as compared to what they were doing last year that a lot of folks will really appreciate. Bigger sink, flush mount stove top, really helps with prep space where you need it. And note that control panel up there. If you want to, you can actually hook your phone up to it and Bluetooth some major functions out of this. Now also remember, the one that we're looking at today could be different from the one that we have in stock or we could get you. For instance, 
that's a standard microwave. But if you wanted a convection option, that's available. Similarly, what we're going to see down here is maximum storage below the stovetop. But if you wanted a propane oven, we can get you one of those too. And in fact, there are plenty of times that we actually will build them that way here at Halet RV because these are so popular. And the way that people want to build them seems to vary, vary uh, either regionally or how you use them. If you don't like what we have in stock or what you see here, give us a call and we'll get one put together just for you. Now, as we roll backwards through the bottle, one, uh, we uh, bring ourselves to the bunks there. And just like the rest of the RV, they are very, very detailed. And there's some things there that are very, very easy to miss. For instance, if I get you up here around the corner, you actually find some, you know, handy little rainy day outlets for the kiddos. That stuff's easy to miss. You might also notice how you've got your own, uh, like, night privacy shade there for the kiddos. You may also notice that ladder right there. Well, if we take a look at this, you see that uh, you've got separated curtains for the upper and lower bunks, which is really handy. Not to mention the ladder for the kids to get themselves up and down. Then these kind of little details, that little stopper right there on the door, it's stopping you from smashing up your bathroom door with the sharp edge of that handle. And that's just prototypical Rockwood. They have such an eye for fine little details like that. Even on a little camper like this, so many manufacturers, when they build them small, they build them cheap. Rockwood just builds them small. <laughs> you know, that's that's really the difference there. Uh, I like that space up there for some toiletries or, uh, you know, towels and whatnot. And the little shelf back there, handy little place to maybe keep um, uh, some, well, some toothbrushes and stuff like that. Now, there, you're not seeing a sink. We're about to see a little one. But a porcelain foot flush stool in a little trailer like this and not bad leg room, not bad hip room. Something I really appreciated is that I'm tall. So I was like, is, you know, is my head, my neck, my back, uh, am I going to have a heart attack if I hit this thing, you know, uh, if, when I'm doing my business? And no, there's enough room in here that I, even at my size, I never clocked my head or anything like that. And all Rockwoods always have that big vent fan here in the bathroom. And like all Rockwoods, you're going to find it's complete with that roof vent cover. Now for headroom in the shower, because you do have that really aggressively vaulted ceiling, I am absolutely every inch in that skylight. And I'll tell you at my size, if I stood straight up and down, I will bump the skylight, uh, you know, interior ceiling panel. Um, I, I'd rather just shoot you straight on that. Now, what do you guys think of this? Some manufacturers do a shower. Rockwood's doing a tub. Cherokee does a shove where it's in between. I think I know why Rockwood's doing it, though. Because uh, you've got that shower curtain here. I think they're wanting to make sure that it stays inside and you don't get water dribbling out on the floor. But what is your input on that? Good, bad, ugly, or otherwise? I always try to be fair. And, you know, sometimes people like something. Sometimes they don't. And I'm always interested in what you have to say about them. Now, over here, you know, pretty common shower head. Nothing special there but they have a dedicated sink here in the shower itself. I think uh, Wolf Pup was one of the first mainstream brands that I saw do that. And ever since then, I I've, I've wondered why more brands didn't jump on that bandwagon. And of course, the Shower Miser water saver system. So popular that it has actually now become standard on all other Rockwood travel trailers and fifth wheels, but it started here on Geo. But if I know one thing, I know that you folks appreciate tuning in to Halet RV to get those hard-hitting details. So the question on everyone's mind for sure is, can I watch TV from the toilet? And uh, although your family may not appreciate the view, the short answer to that question is, yes, this RV is, in fact, toilet TV certified. Yeah, baby. And I tell you what, I think this is one of the best-looking little campers out there. It is looks like a little spaceship pod zipping around the Milky Way or something like that. Um, interesting note, not only is this double Asdell walls on the side walls, but also the rear wall and the front wall. And that's an interesting thing because most manufacturers who give you a front nose cap, they don't do a front wall. Uh, uh, Rockwood actually does include a one inch laminated wall behind that cap just for build consistency and thermal consistency. 
Uh, the windows obviously all tinted and frameless. That's another interesting thing on these little guys that a lot of manufacturers just don't do. That's another one of those things I think just gives it that amazing look. And by the way, those are windows on the side, but that is a true windshield on the front. That's a higher grade glass. And uh, in case you're curious about stone impact, the diamond plate is down here because that's where the stones tend to uh, uh, meet up with her. Now that uh, little wheel on the front, I'm telling you, if this is on flat ground, one or two people, you'd be really surprised how much you can push and pull this thing around. Very handy if you've got a garage with a tall door or a barn or something like that. And notice that double propane tank right there, giving us uh, uh, like big trailer features here on this little RV. You know, things like that, the solar, the inverter, there's so many things under the skin of this one that add cost to it. But they're also features that, I mean, you either got them or you don't. There's no in between. Good look at that all aluminum skeleton in there. Also the little details too, like four corner stabilizer jacks. A lot of little campers there, rear jacks only. And I'm telling you, I, I don't care what anybody says. If they say, oh, it's so short, you don't need front and rear jacks, baloney. Try camping in one of these without them. It wiggle waggles all over the place despite being so small. Speaking of which, this is only 20 foot long. It is a, such a easy towing, nice target length, easy weight on these as well. Um, the uh, the thing though, I, to, to tow one of these, I really do recommend you have like at least a 4,000 pound tow capacity, if not a little better, just due to the fact that, uh, you know, by the time you load cargo into this, I, I don't want you running with like a 3,500 pound tow rating. It's just gonna overload you. You see that cargo door right there, uh, the, uh, you know, ugh. What would you put in that? You know, how would you camp with that? Would you have folding chairs? You got a little folding bike or something like that? Those things are cool, by the way. They are very awesome for camping, very space effective. The um, uh, pass-through compartment is nice that you do have that full pass-through. One of the other really cool things about these is you don't gotta mix up your stinky slinky with the rest of your camp stuff because this has its own belly-mounted uh, sewer hose holder. Speaking of belly stuff, uh, 12 volt tank heaters are an available option on this to give you that extra protection if you are going to go out where it's a little bit chilly. Power awning there, if you feel like it, you could uh, remote control that thing off your phone if you hook it up to the in command system. Uh, LED lighting below it, obviously, and very nicely covers both the entry door so you don't get spritzed in the face on a drizzly day, but also our little griddle grilling station over here. So if you want to come outside and do a little bit of cooking, uh, you know, you, you can, it doesn't matter if it's a little rainy today, you're going to be good to go. Now, it comes with its own suburban griddle, but if you want to swap it out for like a Blackstone or something, it's the same generic um, propane cooker hooker behind the big Westlake radial off-road tire right there. Very aggressive looking tire on these. And the spare, by the way, is belly mounted just behind the uh, sewer hose tube, or I guess you could say the sewer hose tubes in front of that tire, whatever works for you. The adjustable more ride steps probably overkill on a little thing like this, but again, for that extra stability, it is a nice feature. And if you are, say like a bicycle or kayak enthusiast, I know uh, I, I have certainly neglected my exercise routine since <coughs> quarantine of last year, but uh, you know, that little um, deadbolt uh, programmable code job right there, so that if you want to, uh, you know, uh, now I have to worry about, oops, I dropped my keys out of my pocket and now I'm stuck outside the camper. It's just not going to be something you got to deal with here. Although, uh, I tell you what, I'm dealing with some chilly wind currently. Woo Up top here, I think the first thing to really hit on is that big 190 watt raised panel, high efficiency solar system right here. What's kind of cool is there actually is a, what's, what's called a hidden option. You can fattery, uh, fat, fattery? Fattery. Hey Mike, did you know you can fattery order these? Did you also know that I'm unable to speak properly today? Yeah, both of those things are accurate. Anyway, uh, there is a factory option. It's a hidden option for a second 190 watt solar panel. You can do that on pretty much uh, any of the Rockwoods of solar, by the way. Now the TV antenna, we'll see if I can manage to spit this one out. That doubles, by the way, as the Wi-Fi Ranger, uh, basically unit and receiver. So kind of a two in one thing, which means one less seal point on the roof. Speaking of which, they like crazy over seal these things, which is something I prefer. I would rather a manufacturer go absolutely bananas with the seal and gun rather than uh, take the risk of there being a void, which is fancy sales talk for leak, you know, because sales likes to flower things up. I tend to call a spade a spade and a duck a duck, but that's just me. Now back here, that big Max Air vent fan also has that big Max Air vent fan cover. Rockwood, 
always on top of the details. So that's my take on it. What do you think? You like what you see here? You like the Asdell? You like the solar? You have any questions or are you looking for something in a similar layout? I can give you some suggestions. Let me know. Whatever the case may be, good, bad, ugly, or otherwise, share some feedback and we appreciate it. Remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees, we just do everything else. And if that sounds good, hit that subscribe button to follow along and know that we're always doing our best to give you the best information possible here at Halo RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone. Rockwood.